Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Pro Gamer here and we are back with yet another NBA 2K Gauntlet Spotlight Sim Challenge. Now for today's video, we're going to be doing the Terry Dissinger Nail Biter Challenge. So, if we take a look at the terms of the challenge, it's on Hall of Fame difficulty, 21 point triple threat, and the terms are win the game by three points while allowing your opponent to score 20 points to earn Dark Matter Terry Dissinger. Now, as you can see, 21 point triple threat, they're gonna get to 20. So it's definitely gonna be a nail biter. Now, when it comes to suggestions for this challenge, I'm going to go into freestyle just to quickly give you guys a quick tutorial or a quick, I guess, like, yeah, basically just a quick tutorial on how to do a little speed burst glitch, which will probably make things really easy for this challenge. And basically, all you're going to want to do for the actual challenge anyway is just go basically two points for two points, as well as then just get the win. And at that point, it's just about either getting one defensive stop or if you start with the ball, just getting every bucket. So for this little speed burst, basically how it is, is as you see right now, Luka Doncic has the ball in his right hand. So what you're gonna wanna do, if I can show this on the face cam, you're gonna press up on the right stick, that is going to move the ball into his left hand. Then you're gonna take the left stick, and you're going to move slightly on an angle, basically on like a 45 degree angle in the way you pass the two. So if we start with the ball in our left hand, we're going to press up on the right stick and then move slightly to the right on that diagonal angle. Now, once you've taken that first step on the diagonal angle, you are basically just going to hold right stick and you're going to speed burst and it's going to make it so much easier to get to the rim. Yet again, so this time we're doing it again. I'll put it on screen. Again, one, two, and three. As you see a little speed burst, we'll do it one more time. So the ball's in his left hand, so up with the right stick, across to the left, and a little speed burst. Now, that wasn't as good of a speed burst, that last one, to be fair. But that is basically a little tutorial on how to do the speed burst glitch. Now, you can only do that on current gen. So, for us next gen players, I'm sorry, I don't know what your challenge is going to be. But for us current gen players, like this tutorial is, that is going to help us a lot to complete this challenge. Now, basically all you want to do, like I said, is if you start with the ball, do speed burst glitch, make your dunk, let your opposition score twos, you know, jump at the ball, pump, uh, what do you call it, take a charge, whatever you got to do. And then, basically, you just got to keep doing the speed burst glitch and you should win the challenge. So, if we go over here, we have Nailbiter. Now, for a team, I would recommend, yet again, if you have a good lineup of guys, I would recommend using them. I, as you guys have seen before, Luka Doncic is my guy, as well as Bill Russell. I am actually just going to apply a contract. Bill Russell is another guy I use, as well as if I have him, my pink diamond bowl bowl. Uh, I think I actually sold him off recently before a like the market went down. No, nope, I actually do have one. Okay, so this is the team I use for my challenges. But like I said, if you guys do have budget cards you want to use, feel free to go for them. Like I'm sure if you complete these challenges, you could probably use Eddie Curry and like James Wiseman if you have him. And like I said, if you want to get like George Mashan, you probably use him for defense and stuff as well. As long as you have one guy for your offense, and you're gonna be set. So. Let's get into this challenge and see if we can uh, do a quick tutorial here. I guess the best way to get open so you can do your little speed burst glitch is basically to run like a pass and screen away, but just don't run the offense. You guys are going to basically space themselves out on the floor and you're going to be good to go. So if we can actually load up into this game. We're going up against Danny Ferry, Tessie, Terry Dissinger and Kermit Washington. So basically if you're going to attack one of the other guys, one of the Galaxy Opals is going to make things so much easier for you because yet again... Taking on a Dark Matter, a bit harder than taking on a Galaxy Opal. Because Galaxy Opals, less stats and all that kind of stuff. So, we're starting here. We're going to go right stick across and we're going to go stay home. We're basically going to keep our defenders in front and uh, kind of keep them protecting the rim. There we go. Quick steal. So, now we are going to go pass the screen away as we showed. Space out the floor. One, two, and in this case we didn't get it, so it's fine. Reset. Going to get the ball in my left hand. We're going to pass the screen away. One, two. Two, three, we're gonna run, run really wide. In this case, we didn't really get open at all. That is fine. Leaving Bol Bol open for the mid. We missed. Dang it. Oh well. Yeah, again, if they're gonna get a two. And yeah, again, good contest. Now, in this case, yeah, again, that was probably a bad example because, like I just said, don't attack the dark matter. I don't know why I just did that, honestly. I just realized that. So again, pass the screen away. One, two, three. And that is attacking the. I don't even know, but it's one of the Galaxy Opal cards. I think that's the Kevin Washington. Yeah, so in that case, yet again, as you can see, attacking the Galaxy Opal, much easier than attacking the Dark Matter. So there's your, like, personal experience from me. Don't attack the Dark Matter, attack the Galaxy Opals. It's going to make this challenge so much easier. Yet again, get the ball to Bill Russell. Going to pass and screen away. He's going to come up a little bit. One, two, three. 
and you can see the little speed burst. We are getting to the rim, and uh, yeah, as you can see, they are basically scoring two. So uh, in this case, when they get the ball, 2K, please pass them the ball. Yeah, again, you want to make sure that you're always, well, you're up by two points, and then that you tie them. So let them attack the, the rim. Don't let them shoot threes like that. In this case, it's okay. You, like I said, basically just want to kind of keep them on an even amount of points the whole time. One, two, three, little speed burst. That didn't work. That is fine. Let them score a two. Let them score the two, 2K. Or don't let them score the two. That's fine. Again, yeah, get yourself easy twos as well. But basically, like I said, you're just going to let them catch up, get to 20 points. As long as you're, as long as when they score 20 points, you have the next possession and you already have 20, you're going to be fine. Yeah, again, you can let them score. You cannot let them score. At this point, it doesn't matter taking four shots because, well, as you can see, we're already up by four. We want them to get twos anyway. So, yet again, there is another two. So, let's get the ball back. Get it to Bill Russell. And the same old strategy time and time again. Again, pass the screen away. One, two, three. In this case, he came back. So, crossover backwards. And you still kind of keep the speed burst if you pull back off of it. So, uh, and then as you can see in that play, we kind of just looped around a little bit, did what needs to be done. You can jump at the shot, that's going to get him to get open in the mid. Yet again, the only real challenge in a sense right now is them actually hitting their shots. I'm somewhat trying to let them, like, there have been a couple of possessions I've been trying to, like, contest them. Other possessions, I'm trying to let them score and they keep missing. Which, yet again, it's just going to be about doing what you got to do to let them score. It might take you a couple extra possessions. Yeah, again, they get the block. That's fine. We need them to score anyway because we need them to get the 20 points. Another way you can get them to drive is when you hold down right trigger and jump at the same time, they're going to attack the rim because they're going to think as the CPU mindset is, oh, they're trying to stop the three-point shot. They're giving you the wide open drive, so they're going to take that. Then basically switch to another defender, stop them from getting, uh, what do you call it? Stop them from basically blocking your opposition. And uh, yeah, like I said, then basically let them get to 20. Make sure that you're on 20 first. That's why you got to keep a little bit of a lead so you know you can get there first. And uh, yeah, basically at that point, once you're both on 20, you got the ball for the last possession. Do that little speed burst glitch and uh, get yourself the win. Now in that case, that is actually not great. They hit a three. So you do kind of want to let them get another three at this point in the game. So... Yeah, again, I'm just going to attack. I don't really care about the offense too much. I just kind of want to go in for an example. Cool. So in this case, leave them wide open for three. If they attack, maybe play some good defense. Do what you're going to do. And uh, yeah, that is the challenge pretty much. Like I said, trying to let them get a three. But yeah, they obviously don't want it right now. Like I said, just keep playing on. Leave whoever's open in the corner when they get the half court set going. And you should be good to go. I guess that is the other thing as well. Pick and roll can kind of work for you too. As you can see in that little possession. If you've got guys that are like pink diamonds above, they're going to be able to hit little mid-range shots. So uh, yeah, pick and roll is another suggestion. If you can't do the little speed burst glitch, here we go. Leave him open. He's not going to take it. So uh, yeah, that is fine. If this does happen, and they happen to be one point ahead, just make sure that it sticks to a one point difference only. And uh, well... Once the yeah, once you get to the end of the game, just make sure that uh, you get that two point lead. Play good good defense them, and then don't let them score. But uh, yeah, as you can see, basically just keep it point for point, and you should be good to go to complete this challenge. So that is today's video. Hope you guys have enjoyed. I know this one's a little bit well. I haven't shown it necessarily the greatest because well, the CPU unfortunately hasn't exactly been doing what I want it to do. But uh, anyway, like I said, I'm just at this point letting them score. So, just do that kind of stuff. You should be good to go. Score when you need to. If they do happen to score a three, just try to keep that one point difference. And you should be good to go. In that case, if you get to 20 and they're on 19, let them get to 21. And then get yourself to 22. Get a defensive stop. And, uh, yeah. That's basically what you're going to want to do. So, like I said, that is today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did like it, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Your support in these videos has been amazing recently, guys. So, I do greatly appreciate that. Social media links in the description below for the Twitter and the Discord and all that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And I'll catch you guys in the next video, whoever it's on, for another tutorial. I don't know. But uh, yeah, until then, guys, I'll catch you in the future. Green light. See ya.